So there seems to be a little bit of a recurring theme with minimalism on my channel these days. Now this makes a whole lot of sense when I'm photographing in Denmark because my country is like very long and flat. So for the most part, I have to just deal with what's there. We don't have epic waterfalls, or mountains, or glaciers, or anything like that. So, well, it is lone trees, it is fields, and yeah, I think that's about it. Of course, we have woodland also and beaches, but generally a wide open country. So when there are like special things that stands out in the countryside, such as a couple of beautiful lone trees that I have been with before here, I've photographed before, then it just turns out to be minimalism uh, for some reason almost always works and this evening is no different maybe you can discuss how much of minimalism it actually is because it's also kind of like beautiful and dramatic at the same time because i am just photographing these two trees here in the sunset and it looks <laughs> absolutely spectacular spectacular it's so beautiful it is this nice combination of dramatic sunset colors with a very simple and minimal foreground scene here and yeah it 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 just works it looks so beautiful i can see i might actually need to move the camera now because some stun streaks are appearing behind it and i want to catch those so the light is just absolutely wonderful here so yeah we have these sun streaks coming out from behind the tree and just underneath them between the ground and the trees the the ground or well the background is kind of glowing so yeah it's it's really pretty <laughs> it's like you know it's it's uh, yeah i need to move a little bit i can see here and i don't want to fall down so uh, yeah, I'm just uh, moving a little bit back. So I just got the very last of the sunset actually coming down and the sun streaks are even better now. So yeah, beautiful clouds, beautiful sun streaks, beautiful simple scene. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, I have some new friends. Quite curious horses. So technically now, just to make sure that I capture all the data, I'm just bracketing with five. It is probably way overkill, especially on this camera. I usually don't need to use more than at the tops two shots for this. But uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's pretty. So I don't think there is anything more Danish than wind turbines. Well, that should be Vikings, but wind turbines is also very Danish. So the good thing about using my Sony RX100 Mark 7 is that it can zoom all the way into 200 millimeters. So I can get a really strong perspective compression because those windmills out there in the background that you can see are actually larger to you than what I can see with my eyes here and relative to the screen size and all those things. So you can actually see what it is I'm photographing. Now, for this photo, I have to zoom all the way into, yeah, 
almost 400 millimeter, maybe 350 millimeter or something like that. And as you can see, we are late in the day. It's sunset, the sun is coming down and I've come out here to the ocean. We have so many wind turbines along the Danish coasts and this park here is one of the absolutely largest we have. Now, just to give you a sense of how big it is, I will simply just record here and you can follow along how big this one is here from one end to the other and I will just pan along here and you can see they just continue and continue and continue for very very long. Actually when you see the picture that I will be taking in a few moments you can see how some of the background windmills or wind turbines are further down beneath the water's edge than the foreground windmills. That says a lot, that you can actually see the curvature of the earth in these photos. That's quite fascinating. So for this very simple, minimalist, long lens shot, the settings are super easy. I'm an aperture priority ISO 100, and I don't really need to think too much about the depth of field. So I'm on just like f6.3, and that gives me a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second. Now obviously the blades or the wings of the wind turbines are moving, so I don't want too slow of a shutter speed because I don't want them blurry. So I will see if I can stick to this uh, 1 50th, 1 60th, maybe 1 80th of a second. And then I will simply just pick out different parts of this huge windmill park with some different clouds on top of them. Because I will introduce some clouds on top of them simply just because, well, it's sunset and they look pretty. And if I don't, I will just get a very, very long panorama of the mills. So I will incorporate all the distant clouds also into this composition. And it also looks good because the sun is coming down, so they are getting a little bit pink. No b-roll, <laughs> just straight on. So I have frantically been like driving around. I actually didn't think that I would actually find something this evening, but I actually did find a lone tree and have just a beautiful, beautiful sunset behind them. The clouds are just perfect. These are the colors you want. And yeah, again, <laughs> super simple, minimalist, long lens telephoto zoom uh, landscape photography. There's not really much to it. I am shooting at f11, ISO 100, one sixth of a second, and I'm shooting a few different shots of the tree just to get one shot, hopefully, where the branches are not moving too much in the wind, because as you can hear, it's, it is quite windy right now. So due to the wind, I've also placed the camera fairly low on the tripod, so I'm very close to the ground, so I don't get any shake. As I said, the oh, really nice colors right now. So as I said, it's quite windy, so simply just to make sure that I don't get any camera shake, I just place it very, very low. Oh, those colors are gorgeous, like just more or less every color of the rainbow right here. Everything from yellow to orange to deep purple and reds, blues and greens in there. Gorgeous, extraordinary, beautiful clouds.
If you struggle with composition and landscape photography, be sure to get my two ebooks. They are designed to be easy to read and are full of examples. You can get them via the links down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video on Telephoto Minimalist Sunset Photography and as always, if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment.